Premier Ed Stelmack shows no fear in the pen next to a 2,400 pound Angus bull, but jokes he won't be going back to the farm full time when he retires from politics. No, I haven't made enough money to go back to agriculture, so <laughs> it's a standing joke, but no, I, I uh, you know, there, there, there will be opportunities, but certainly you're going to be living back on the farm. Um, it, it's a tremendous sentimental value because that's the, the homestead that my grandparents settled in 1898. Stelmack was asked about his post-premier plans at a funding announcement at the Calgary Stampede Thursday. Well, I guess the positive thing is that uh, we've, uh, in the province of Alberta, established uh, more jobs here than the whole country of the United States. So I guess when I leave office, there'll be good job opportunity for me personally. Um, Stelmack says the rebounding economy and strong oil prices produced a very positive first quarter that will shrink the projected $3.4 billion deficit. When pressed about his future plans, Stelmack promised to take a little breather on his farm, but will remain MLA for his Fort Saskatchewan Vagerville riding until the next provincial vote to avoid what he called an unnecessary by-election. You know, Alberta is going to have so many opportunities uh, over the next year. The economy is coming back uh, better here than anywhere else, and quite frankly, better than anywhere in the North American continent. And uh, we'll soon uh, have the first quarter report, which will be very positive. Under the MLA transition allowance, Stelmack is eligible for nearly $1 million in his severance package. You know, uh, I do have a one-year cooling off period, according to legislation, and I'll definitely honour that. And then we'll see what happens from there. Unlike other premiers, Stelmack appears cool to the idea of a foreign diplomatic posting. 25 years, uh, 25 years in public life is, is enough. Okay. I made a decision to stay at home and that's where I'll be. The premier has promised to resign from the job October 1st after the Tories elect a new leader. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.